hop on. Saw there was nobody on commentary the last time. I didn't just convert either of them. Ooh. He read that squall hammer. I guess Fox's up finish is just pretty good. If it hits both of them. It's shielded, I assume. They're down. Yeah. Oh! I was not expecting Fox to make it back to the stage. Create knows Fluff is in the range of pretty much just one smash attack, and it's game over. Oh, well, not came for this stop. Oh, yeah, like that. He was fishing a bit for it, but it's easy to get it off the grab like that. Ooh, three for three so far. Four for four. Five for five. Hate to see those types of SDs. They're expected to hit the stage and tech. No stage for you. 1-0 Trie? Assume this is the best, best of five ter territory, definitely. Okay, Yoshi. Makes sense, makes sense. Maybe you didn't want to go to Pokemon. characters to do it between. Climber, but the other hammer hits. Oh, 
Oh, that was a phantom. Oh, man. Fluff is really hoping that hit. Oh, that even stock back. Oh, that gives Fluff a, a good chance to try to even. Oh, can he stay on stage? That was a, a weird timing for down throw down here. I don't think that was what Trey meant to do. Well, and I'll be having a commentator, Louise. Hello, hello. So, this is the natural counter pick, but unfortunately uh, for all of us spaces, Tree Eye loves to use that smash attack, and you'll die sooner on Yoshi's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was uh, certainly hoping to get sooner up throw up air kills. Did not get many of them. Okay, Battlefield. So it changes up yeah. the strategy here a bit. So Trii loves to start off with Blizzard right there, and then he likes to use his shield and wave dashes to set up either a grab or another smash attack. Yeah. yeah Sometimes he'll disrupt you with some aerials, but for the most part, the ground is where he makes his money. I've seen a lot of people today tr just try their best to avoid Blizzard and still get clipped anyways. Yep. Yeah, basically makes any immediate approach versus Tree Eye kind of risky unless you already have him in a disadvantageous position because mm -hmm. he's so ready with the mix-up. Yeah, as long as you aim it correctly, like they're in front of you, they're not approaching from above on the diagonal, you know. It's not that Tree Eye is hard to predict, but rather his game plan he executes so consistently. Uh, correct, yeah. That if you are not uh, tight enough, he will just kind of, you know, uh, outspace you. Trey is also now like eight for eight for down throw down airs. Fluff has not really figured yep. out a, the, the correct direction. You gotta hold away with both the C stick and the analog stick at the same time. As they throw you, you gotta smack both of them. I see, I see. Tree, I taught me this a couple weeks ago. I've it, always played floatier characters, so I always thought it was up and out. But maybe for fast followers, you just wanna hit the ground first. Yeah, maybe. Could just be versus spaces. It's kinda like Marth Killer stuff, you know? <laughs> Angle's different for that too. Ooh. Okay. This is Last brutal. game was very competitive. That's it. Nice read. This game. Well, I, as long as Fluff's got a stock, he's got a chance. He does have a chance. You can come back versus these these little people, but you have to get a couple lucky shines, really. Sure, has got the control right now. Center stage. The Fluff is trying to go for a nice cheeky edge guard. Tie it up. Ooh. Gets out of it. Down tilt, not really safe versus Tree Eye. Knows how to space around it, how to get away from it. Got okay. put right into the blender with that one grab. Oh, Nana, what are you doing? Kills yourself. Let's see if Sopo can finish it out. Oh no, oh. missing the angle. And that'll be it. Fluff exiting Xanadu at fourth place. Nice run today. Tree Eye advancing uh, to rematch Lewis, aka Bunko. The run back of last set would. It was went a to game, game five. five. Yeah, yep. game five. Lewis made a comeback. He was down game four, and he clutched it out, and then won game five dominantly. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. I do think uh, Trio is looking pretty hot right now. He's had a couple fast faller brackets, and I don't think Lewis would dare play Sheik. Oh, no, players. absolutely not. Yeah, he's N definitely not, going Falcon. Not a favorable matchup. And he has had a, a diet of ice climbers, this bracket. So Yeah. He's warmed sure. up. 